Hello guys, this is All-Star Gamers for the win. This is Eric. And this is Eugene. Welcome back to our walkthrough of Cartoon Network Punchline Explosion XL. So last time we continued more through Storm Along Harbor, and now we're going to continue on. I don't remember where we... <laughs> where we stopped at. Uh, yeah, it's... It's been a while. Mm-hmm. Um, so what's new, Eric, in the gaming world? Well, one is that... They're actually a petition to prevent, to bring back the original policies of the Xbox One. I'll, hold on, after this cutscene then I'll explain more, alright? Okay. You know, if they put voice acting in this, that would have been more fun. Yeah, it would have been. Hold on, let me just get you to the controls, alright. Okay. Right. Well, the Xbox One position is very stupid because now the PlayStation 3 gamers have a chance to screw up things for Xbox. Yeah. And, and we are sucking really bad to hit that button. How do we hit the button? Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to smash this thing, no? Sheesh, I already beat in this game, I already forgot what I'm I'm just gonna to. sit down here and watch you do your thing. Okay, this is getting annoying. Oh no. Have you ever... <sighs> you know what? Oh, I got it, I got it. You know what? You know what? <sighs> okay. I can't do it. We're gonna have to cut this video to where we finally push the button. This is embarrassing. And we're back. We figured it out. This whole time I was supposed to press B to shoot. <laughs> and we didn't even need to do it by cheating, right Eric? Um, they don't know. Well, well by interrupting me they do <laughs> know. Yes guys, we had, to, we had to look up a guide to figure out how to push the button. This whole time I had to press A. I have to press B in order well, to I shoot. I keep on falling, you know what? <laughs> and you died too. Fantastic. Okay, we'll get through this quickly. We, we can do it. And we're Good back. thing there's checkpoints. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. Okay, back to what we were talking about. Oh yes, uh, the Xbox 360. No, the Xbox One petition. Yeah. You know what to do here. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so the petition for the Xbox One. Seriously, guys, if you sign the petition, then what the heck is wrong with you? Do the you PlayStation 3 fans, Eric, think about it. Yeah. The PlayStation fans. You know what? An Xbox, a true Microsoft fan will not give back the, yeah. the flaws. <laughs> and according to the end, and according to IGN, they said something about that, some, hold on, quick time event. There we go. Why? Well, all I really had to do was press Y the whole time. Okay, anyways, back to the petition stuff. According to IGN, there have been rumors saying that that PlayStation fans are signing the petition as a way to boost Mesa in order to ruin the Xbox One's reputation. Which is probably true, do you agree? Yeah, could be. Oh. Come on! <laughs> so yeah. No! No! I will not do it! Because you know you have to press the right. Anyways, back. Anyways, so yeah, we really. We really think this petition is stupid. It's bullcrap. Excuse my language. Yeah. But seriously, why the heck do you have to do that? That's not. So, PlayStation can get the upper hand of Xbox, Microsoft. 
Which, is, don't get me wrong, good idea. You guys done it. And whoever did the petition, the whole place, good job. You, you're screwing up Xbox One. Yeah. Why? Well, we actually hope that the Xbox One will be a success. Even though I'm a so, even though I'm a fan of PlayStation, I'm still, I'm supporting for Xbox One. The reason is because, because that me and Eugene have been thinking what will happen if Microsoft gave up game, game consoles after this next generation. <laughs> Correction, I made you think. Yeah. Eric wasn't really worried about the whole subject until I told him why to be worried. Yeah, because think about it. If the Xbox One fails and Microsoft never makes game systems again, even what will happen is play people will only play PlayStation systems. And why it's a bad thing is that we're gonna, is that the whole is that we will be forced to be playing with people who can play games about the Xbox One and and that they're becoming complete jerks. Right? Yes. We'll be forced to play with jerks who won't stop complaining about... We'll be forced to be playing with tons and tons of noobs, basically. Yeah. At least X Microsoft has a chance for no noobs to play because they're too lazy to get their butts up and pay for a membership card. Yeah. Unless they have an idea they can just pay for Microsoft points online and a free membership. And a membership, not free. So, yep. So, I... Uh, Final thoughts about the petition. Don't you dare sign it. Don't. We are begging you. <laughs> if you Microsoft needs a chance. And I think it would be right if you guys give them it. Even if you don't like them. Yeah. If you guys are true gamers, then you guys should give other games a chance. Yeah. If you do... If you do mess up Microsoft... If you did sign that petition, then... Then you, sir, have no rights to play a game system. Well, actually, you do, but... You, you just have no respect for yeah. games. Okay, do press R and see what, what Knuckles would do. R? Yeah. Yeah. No, L. Okay. Here's something that's funny. Oh, God. Oh, God. Three. Two, one, boom! What the heck? <laughs> yeah, he makes a creepy face, but he's angry that there's no candy. Wow, Captain Knuckles can sure kick butt. Yep. Let's <laughs> just one punch their head. Yeah. Anyways. So yeah, if you. So yeah. Xbox One petition. Do not sign it. You'll just make Xbox One even worse. And if you guys have your own YouTube channel, can you support our opinion by posting a video about it too? Yeah, that we would be need great. Some, we need some supporters. Yeah. Captain Anyways, did you see that? Yeah, I always saw it. They need like 1,844 more people to sign it in order to send it to Microsoft and have them. Um, change the policies back to to the original. So everyone on YouTube, don't you dare sign it. Okay. Um. Well, that's all you, we really need to say. I got nothing against PlayStation, and I got nothing against Microsoft. But honestly, I am a fan of my a fan, a true fan of Microsoft. Yeah, and although I may be a Sony fan, Microsoft games are interesting to play. You just gotta give them a chance. Yeah. I'm sorry, I skipped that. But... Yeah. Okay, negatives over, let's think of the positives. Okay. Well, we fu we've heard that they will be making a new Killer Instinct. Yes, but you know what I am very excited about? What? Titans. As in? Titans. That's the new game. Oh. Oh, great. Oh, great. I have no choice. Yep. 
And so, anyways, so yeah, Killer Instinct, you already know that game. It was one of Rare's popular her game systems. And look at that. We had to face the Toilinator. Oh gosh, we all know how this guy is. Yep, he's one of the, he, he's one of the most pathetic villains in the game. Yep. <laughs> what kind of name is the Toilinator anyways, huh? Yeah. How do you... Do, do you think... Yeah, I don't think there's no purpose for the Toilinator. Me neither. Oh crap, that hurt me. Okay, I see what it does. <gasps> Goodbye. Oh, that was you! <laughs> yep. Dang it, I, I'm sorry. I'm like so used and, to playing Super yep, Smash Bros. Yep, and I, I have some gazpacho. Okay, anyway, sent to it in this world. Eugene, what do you think of Codename Kids Next Door? Oh my gosh, that used to be my, such my favorite show. I used to watch it any chance I got. Yeah. Even now, just watching it on Cartoon Planet. Yeah. I kinda wish they would air the show on Boomerang. Just like they did with Dexter's Laboratory, Powerpuff Girls, and Johnny Bravo. Yeah. Well, um... I am planning to make a Facebook page for All-Star Gamers for the Win, so you guys can visit the page if you would like. I mean, I haven't created it yet, but I promise you on my next video, we will send you a link to it in the description below. Okay. Sounds good. Anyways. Okay, I'm... Um... So oh, gosh. You know what's actually one of my favorite episodes of, Kim at, of Kids Next Door? What? That would be the Christmas special, remember? Which one? It's the only Christmas special that Kids Next Door has. I probably got confused. Because... Which one? Oh, okay, I remember now. Yeah, that when, was a... When they don't, got... don't, don't spoil it. Okay. Besides, it's not Christmas yet. Are they going to show it for Christmas again? They did, but they always do that. Anyways, so yeah, that's our opinion of Kids Next Door. It's a very great show to watch on Cartoon Network. And if you guys ever get a chance, you guys should look up some of the episodes on YouTube or go on CartoonNetwork.com. Yeah. I'm sure my friend Eric will probably leave. Uh, yep, but I'm mashing for the way. <laughs> you don't really need to try right now. You just mash the button. Fingers ready. We are hoping to soon. We are about to soon be reviewing and walkthroughing um, Bad Fur Day. Yep, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. But first, we have a couple projects going on, so so we just have to wait for now. So yep, Conquer's Bad Fur Day walkthrough coming soon. Secretly, but his father is in the a child molester. I'm just kidding. No, no. Where did everyone else go? It's the city of Townsville, home to the oh, most the amazing kids and other one of the our favorite the shows on Cartoon Network. Eh, not so mine, but but it's still good. Uh, and somehow I'm rhyming. At least it sounded so so. Yeah, just like by a cup, both blossom and bows, but now evil. Yeah, and somehow they smacked by a door, somehow will snap them out of their sense. Unlock multi. You're an adult. You never stood a chance. Okay. Bubbles. Oh, so, you have no choice, and so don't. Oh. Yep. So yeah, we know. Okay. A we're now equal to play as the rest of the Powerpuff Girls. No, well, just to make it more... Interesting, okay. I guess I will too. So, so yeah.
So, Eugene, what are your opinions about the Powerpuff Girls? I don't have an opinion. I would just say it is a very entertaining show, even though you would get laughed at at your elementary school for watching it. Yeah. Besides, I don't see the problem. I mean, one thing that's good is that the show was made by Craig McCracken, who is known for making one of my favorite shows, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Anyways, me, I think the show's great. It's now on Boomerang, and, and the show still holds up today. So, Eric. Yeah? Oh, man. I was about to ask you such a stupid question. Okay. But if Death Battle were to see our video, who do you think would win in a fight out of all these three? Powerpuff Girls. I don't know. I face. I really don't know. I can't say Bubbles. She is too lighthearted. I would like to say Blossom because in the show, oh, she's the one. Blossom always thinks of plants first before uh, attacking villains, right? Yes, but, you know, they're all equally matched. Such as. Buttercup. Okay. I mean, she just goes in head on, and she just uses all of her force to smash the things. She can care less if yeah. she kills someone. There have been rumors on the internet saying that the Powerpuff Girls will be getting a special coming to Cartoon Network. Oh gosh, that was cheesy. Why? I don't know, but do we think it would be good? Maybe. Okay, one thing that's good is that they're bringing back the original voice cast. Which is good, but a remodeling, right? They'll be making a CGI. Which is bad, right? I have no idea. But anyways... But anyways, I... There's also one thing that I think made... But there is one thing about the special that makes me skeptical about it. What? That would be that, that Craig McCracken, the, sh the creator of the Powerpuff Girls, isn't going to be involved in, in the special. And that is very bad. Yep. That's terrible, I'm sorry. Um, well... My birthday should be coming in a month, and I am very curious about what game I should get for my birthday. So, if you guys would like to see a, a future game walkthrough of a certain game, you guys just go ahead and leave a comment below before August 14th, which is my birthday. Okay. Another thing of related news, that, that in part one of our walkthrough of this game, we did have some negatives about our video quality. Yes, and our sound quality. But we can't do nothing about our video quality because... Capture cards are expensive. Yes, and we really don't have the money for a capture card. So you're basically stuck with us using this for a... So you're pretty much stuck using, seeing us use the, this for a P camera. Yeah. But, but we do guarantee you in the future our video quality will improve. Yeah. You just, you guys just gotta be patient with this, you know? Money doesn't grow on trees. Yeah. Anyways. What's one thing that, so yeah. You have, so do what are your opinions about the upcoming Super Smash Brothers? Uh, I really don't have an opinion. All I can hope for is that Conquer will be on it, and then I can be for sure that I will get it. So what do you say? What did you say? What systems it's coming up for? The Wii U, and the, and for the first time, the Smash Bros. series is going to be coming out on the handheld. The handheld. So yep, you'll be seeing Super Smash Bros. coming to the 3DS as well. Oh heck yeah! I guess what I have a 3DS. You know what? You might see a. Uh, video game review on it in the future, guys. We'll walk through if this game has a has a retro mode that's how you say fun. <laughs> because let because face it, even if you try to offend it, you cannot deny that the subspace emissary from Brawl is boring. 
You know what I just started this game? Right, repetitive. Hmm. Do you see it repetitive? Any of you? Not me. You don't? No. Ah, I, I can clearly see it. Hmm. But we are playing on a Wii console. Well, um, well our time is probably a bit long. And I'm, but I don't know if we could finish the level in time. And I don't think we can, but... So, about my birthday thing, I have a Xbox 360 console, a PSP, and a 3DS and DS. Which doesn't really matter about the 3DS and DS, because you can play the games on the 3DS anyways, that are from the DS. So you guys can leave a comment on what game I should do a game review and or game walkthrough on, and I'll try my best to get it. Okay. And this is All-Star Gamers for Little Win. This is Eugene. And this is Eric. And we are signing off. Peace.